The Highland Hills Tower of the Skies of Skies. But the shadows they shall draw the spirits near. After all, <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Wednesday night. We're back once again, joined by my co-host uh, Drew here from Drew's Paranormal. But you've changed the name of your show, haven't you? What is it called now? Yes, it's now Drew's Abandoned Paranormal Scotland. It's- Drew's abandoned paranormal Scotland. So all you need you people in the chat, because there's quite a few of you. Could you please jump over there and maybe somebody will post a link in the chat, eh, one of the moderators, that'd be really good. But before we jump into some stuff, how are you, Drew? How's things in windy, wet Scotland? I'm doing good, Christopher. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah it's a bit wet and miserable, isn't it? So yeah. unfortunately, not many watch ghost hunting going on in my household but yeah. <laughs> yeah no i see i seen you were a guest on a show last night i seen you were on a show last night what was the show last night you were on yeah it's actually the show that we, i do that once a week it's over on mystical love and lights channel yep. which is my yep. sister witch channel she's over in tennessee so we are mm-hmm. going through a little bit of a phase of viewing each other right now she interviewed me last week and we interviewed yep. our sister that October Rain Rocks the week before and then and with her last night so it's interesting getting to know each other and seeing how we all do things a little bit different so definitely check out Mystical Love and Light if you like the witchy stuff definitely each other in the chat just subscribe to each other guys um, in the chat Um, thank you Dakota there Bolden Bonkers uh, for putting Drew's uh, paranormal blog there link thank Thank you you, very very much Um, now Tonight we've got a really interesting subject. I mean, it's a Flan Island lighthouse. Now, I've heard. Have you ever heard about this lighthouse, Drew? No, I hadn't, Christopher, until you told me the other day. That's what we were going to be talking about today, and I did do research on it. Well, so as I. much research as you kind of do on YouTube, <laughs> to be I mean, honest. I, but yeah, but the, it's interesting. But before. Before we get into that, guys, we've got actually a big announcement to make. We've got a special guest. Obviously, you know that I'm the co-host for Bold and Bonkers with Dakota and uh, on a Saturday and a Sunday night, and we've got a, a very special guest coming on. So I want to play this wee trailer for you. It's a wee bit of advertisement, guys. It's only like 20 seconds long. But anyway, this will explain who the guest is for Saturday night. So, ladies and gentlemen, you know that Chris has another program he co-hosts alongside Dakota Franson called The Bald and Bonkers Show? Of course some of you knew that, but did you hear about the live guest? The Bald and Bonkers boys are welcoming back none other than Elena Danen, author of A Gift from the Stars and We Will Never Let You Down. Her latest addition to the series, The Cedars Return of the Gods, details some of Elena's most extraordinary encounters as emissary for the Galactic Federation of Worlds. You know the guys have a history of strange things happening on the show. Anyone who follows Elena has seen very similar things take place. When the three get together, it never fails to go to hyperdrive. Turns out it's because Elena and Dakota might have a history from the stars. You don't want to miss it. The guys go live Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. GMT at www.youtube.com slash at Bald and Bonkers. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm- uh, he's awfully good at making trailers, isn't he? He is awfully good at making it's trailers. Mm-hmm. But anyway, let's dive into the subject now, must for tonight. Admit, Elena's a really interesting because Elena oh. is also a shaman yeah. and things, which I didn't realise yeah. until you had interviewed her once before. So she's very she's, interesting, guys. You just need to check she's, out. Oh, God. Elena is an absolutely amazing person. I mean, yeah. the knowledge that she has about the, the ETs and stuff like that. So, guys... Saturday night, wherever you are in the world, you need to come and watch the live. But anyway, let's talk about this very interesting location, guys. Yes. The there it's there. I mean, it's it's an interesting lighthouse. I mean, the mystery of these three guys, let, let me introduce you to these three guys here. Now, these are the three men that, that disappeared that night without a trace. Mm-hmm. 
Now, some people have speculated, was it over a couple of days that the, the slowly disappears, or was it what did they all disappear in the same night? What's your opinion, Drew? Yeah. I don't know if people are actually aware. Maybe they better do a quick background on the actual place yeah. of Flannan. To let you understand, guys, Flannan is actually on an island. I can't remember how many miles it is out of the actual it's mainland. Eight mi- it's 80. 8 80 miles, miles out. 80 miles out. So, to me, miles, yeah. how can three guys disappear? The fact that the light hadn't been lit in for three days, I do believe three or four days as well, is very strange. Yes. So, I think they must have disappeared over a couple of days. Well, this will this will finish. Show you a quick background of the story. Well, Chris, I'll, yeah, about I've what actually, happened. well, I've actually got the story written up here. But um, see where the A is, guys. Where the letter A is, that's where the lighthouse is, and it's actually it was the first building mm. built on the island. Now it was a trans. This is this is this is the story. It was a transatlantic steamer named the Archer, and at first it noticed something was wrong. It, it, it was sailing past the lighthouse, right? And every time it sailed past, the lights would be on for the lighthouse, for the rocks and stuff. Mm-hmm. But it sailed past and there was no light whatsoever. So mm-hmm. they thought, right, let's let's try and signal them. So they stopped the ship. But they, they couldn't land in the island because this transatlantic steamer was too big, right? So it, Mm-hmm. So they sat there and they tried signal, 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 nothing. So anyway, the captain decides he's right, we'll need to go back to port. Hey, Liam. So, hey, Liam. Uh, so the, it went back to the port of Leith, right? Um, the archer passed the lighthouse, right? I'm reading here, the flannel lighthouse, on the night of the 15th of December. 1900. The crew saw that the light was off after docking in Leith. Three days later, the news was passed to the Northern Lighthouse Board. That's the people that look after the the lighthouse. Something was amiss on Flannan. A mysteria that explored in the 2019 film, The Vanishing. You ever seen the, the film, The Fat The Vanishing? No, I haven't, but I did. I mean, I was reading through, the, I was looking at the thing on YouTube, a couple of videos I watched, I noticed that that was what they had to say. That's interesting. But, but the, so the, the Lighthouse Board depart, dispatched a, a relief uh, tender. That's like a, it's like a wee boat with people to go and see what was going on. Uh, mm-hmm. They arrived on that uh, the island on the Boxing Day. The ship's captain, Jim Harvey, sounded his horn and set up a flare to the alert the three lighthouse mm-hmm. keepers. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, there was nothing. There was no... They would usually go out and flash like a light. Nothing, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. the, the, the wee ten, tender boat with the, with the people on board for the lighthouse company, the people that looked after the lighthouse company, arrived on the island, right? And nothing was... Everything was fine. There was a boat. Tied mm-hmm. up at the dock, right? Yeah. So they decided. So they decided they would go up to that lighthouse itself. So they went up mm-hmm. to the lighthouse, um, which is let me read this here. The lighthouse keeper John Moore set off on a hundred and sixty steep steps. A <laughs> hundred and sixty steep steps oh. to the lighthouse. Three giant black birds perched on the cliffs above him. Right, mm-hmm. which is quite interesting. That this is important. Uh-huh. Remember that. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, reaching the lighthouse uh, compounded and the living quarters. So that so they opened the door. It wasn't locked. Obviously, they didn't really lock doors in the days. They opened yeah. the door, and no wonder all those stairs sat. to climb. <laughs> the, the 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 lamps had burnt out of paraffin. Right, mm-hmm. the candles had melted. Right, the tea. And the kettle was still on. It was as if the table was set to the, for them to have their dinner or their tea. Right. Uh-huh. The plates were out. Food was on them, but there were no. So they decided they would search the entire island. They searched and searched mm-hmm. and searched the entire island. Nothing. Not. They couldn't yep. find not one of the men. Now. Yep. <laughs> there's been there speculation. a couple of wee things. Yeah. That there was a there was a couple of rocks and things had been scattered around in a wee bit of disarray, yes. but there had been a storm had passed through, I do believe, the night before. 
this, See, this, 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 is, this is interesting. After they searched the lighthouse complex and the entire island, they found that the, one of the, the men that went to like see found a pair of oil skins. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, mm -hmm. oil skins, ladies and gentlemen, that's like fishermen wore them in those days. They still wear them, they're the waterproofs, right? Yeah. Uh, it was one pair of them. Now, the island was hurt by a massive storm, guys. Right, it was mm -hmm. one of the yep. biggest storms. Now, let me see here. They stood across the ground despite being over a hundred feet above sea level. See, this is the thing. A lot of people think yep. that they were they were washed away, right? They said either went outside and they mm -hmm. get washed away. Let me show you the lighthouse in the storm. Right. Here's the lighthouse today, right? Now, yeah. this will maybe make it a wee bit easier for you. You don't get waves that size. You don't get them. The you don't get them as high as that. Well, yeah, and the fact being as well, hadn't it been one was the night before? I do believe when the men had actually went to see what was going on. Yeah. So why was there no lights for a couple of days? The storm was only the one day. The other days had been calm. So that's another. Yeah. Why was yeah. the lights and things not on for a couple of days before the storm? You know, see, so there's a lot of different things that. And also, I don't know if you, when you were doing your research, noticed that a lot of people beforehand had told tales of seeing ladies and yeah. things like turning yes, out of the blue. Like in the island, nobody can yep. go. Nobody can go, yep. go on the island except for the people tending to the lighthouse. So, well, it's actually, who knows? It's actually really interesting you bring that up, Drew, because I actually read about, about the, the lighthouse itself. It's one of the first buildings to be built there. But yeah. if you go back far enough, like a thousand years, right? Far enough, there was ancient settlements on right. the island. Right. right. Now, there is a lot of myths and legends about the the sea monsters and stuff like that, which I but there's talking to think fairies. That. That's mm -hmm. right. That's right. And they say that the the ancients would say that the island was cursed, and you should mm -hmm. never build anything there and it's it's quite interesting here here's a here's a picture of it ladies and gentlemen closer to the i mean look look at the distance yeah exactly look how far it's, that is for the mainland see i can understand i'll go back to the chat now you see what you're all saying because i can't see it when i'm working the controls but i can understand one person getting washed away right maybe yeah they just the vanished though but yeah the three of them just vanished uh -huh. The, the, the three of them just basically vanished. I mean, I mean, everything was set out. Imagine you'd get your dinner ready, mm -hmm. you'd put your plates out, you'd put the fire on, you'd lit your lamps for their dinner, and then three days later, yep. something happened. They went to check it out. Everything was set out, but the place was abandoned. And I could understand see, one man's... I see, this mm -hmm. is the thing. There's a theory there's that what, so... something happened to one of them and then somebody had to yeah. go out to look for him and then the other one went out to look for him. There's theories of that. So it begs to differ why did the second person not go get help? So there's a lot of ins yeah. and outs to why, if that case, did they not seek help the first day, the one minute that one person disappeared? So did they all disappear at the one time? Did they go overboard that... or are they in the island somewhere underground? So I... Well, this is actually interesting. Arriving on the island on this December the 29th, the board superintendent, Robert Moorhead, right? Now, he was the top, top, mm -hmm. top guy. He knew the men well. These men weren't mm -hmm. like recruits. These men were... They worked. They were specially houses. picked as Aye, well. They were, uh -huh. they were, they were specially picked that. to go there. They knew, mm -hmm. they knew if you went out at night, two would go, right? Mm -hmm. They knew that the rocks were dangerous. They knew the dangers of that island, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. But the, you would think they would have left like a note behind or something like that to say, oh, one exactly. fell off, and others went, we were going to look. It's, it's, it's annoyed. There's actually top police that have actually investigated it, and still to this day, they just don't know what happened. I mean, the one oil Not scan... Not washed that up ashore or anything. Yeah. 
See, it's it's quite interesting. I'm reading it here. Uh, the there was satisfied that the men deputy up till the dinner time and Saturday, right? So they they could tell that they just disappeared mm -hmm. and yeah, I, I, you know, was that in the chat? The, Go and see, boot the thing that is, person, please, guys. Is there's a what's the whatever it is. Uh, there's actually like myths, myths and legends as well that if you if the gods of the island, if you like, seem to think that you're you, you maybe you've done something wrong, went against some yeah. of the etiquette yeah. of the island, that you fall victim to the curse. Did the three of them yeah. do something to offend the gods of the island? You know? See the fairies I mean, maybe or something, who knows? Right, this was in the night this was in nineteen hundred. Right. This is nineteen hundred. Mm -hmm. Now there's been theories of German U boats and stuff like that, but they didn't have them to that extent. You, you there's been theories of uh, stuff getting washed up on the shore with gold and then they all went mad. That's the film, the vanishing. They all went mad yeah. and killed each other. Right. Um <sighs> What's your opinion, Drew, on this? Because I know you've researched it. What is your opinion? What do you think happened to them? See, and I know people have got to think aliens. But there is yeah. talk of aliens and things as well there, guys. Yes. Um, I think modern research and things is going down the road. They're looking at more at the skies and things as well. So it's something that is really quite ongoing with the island. It's been really strange for the minute that the, the men disappeared. People have been researching it basically, so it's just it mesmer, mesmerized me. I don't know. There's so mm -hmm. many different ways could have happened. I mean, could did they go overboard? Did they go upwards? Did they go downwards? Who knows? The right. There's you know, one speculation. There, there's one speculation out there where the right where two of them went out and a wave took them over. Right, and the other guy, mm -hmm. the other guy ran down to get them. And another wave took them. Mm -hmm. They're no that stupid. And that's what I find. No, they're too experienced yeah, to there, fall for that. Mm -hmm. There was always one to be there at all times. Mm -hmm. You couldn't leave that place. You could go, you, one would stay there while the other two went out. Because it was a lighthouse. I mean, it was if that light stopped working, the ships would run aground. People would die. Yep. The fact that it didn't, they did the, the light for a few days, I mean, that's strange. Why, if they, if they ran out of something, for example, they would have went and got more supplies or whatever. So why did it take four days as well for them to actually go see what was happening in the light not being lit? Because there is also a theory of um, maybe there being involvement in the, some higher-ups in the... I yeah, see that. I heard that. The, the lighthouse I system that. that wanted to get rid of them, we, basically. Mm -hmm. Well, you've got to remember, right, if we go back to the beginning here, the story, right, the Archer, the the transatlantic steamer, right, it passed, it passed, and it tried to signal because they noticed the light was nailing. They, did, right. so they stood there for like 15, 20 minutes, and they're like, there's something going on here, there's something going on, but it was too rough for them to land in the island. They couldn't put a boat mm -hmm. out. So they decided right. to go back they, they, so they decided to go back, right? So they went back to the port, right, and they informed the people in charge. Then the people in charge were like, right, let's send, let's send a, a boat out that could land in mm -hmm. Ireland. So they had to wait till the storm blew over, first of all. Yeah. So that was a day. So then they went back out and there was nothing there, right? You've got to remember the wee boat that went out, the, the radio equipment, they, did, they didn't have that kind of stuff, right? So no, they, they had, had to, to come go back check again. physically. Mm -hmm. Aye. So they had to come back again, right? And then they had to report to the board saying they left one person there to look after the place where they come back, mm -hmm. obviously to keep the light going. They come back and they said, right, and then the, the superintendent, the head one, decided, right, I want to go out. So he went out with a load of men and they spent two days searching that entire island. Look at we are fine mm -hmm. comb, right? The th they did find oil skins, a full yeah. set of oil skins. But here's a question and interesting for people in the chat. It was a full set of oil skins. It was the jacket and the trousers. Why would someone take off his jacket 
in trouser royal skins in winter and leave them lying. I know. And also, I was going through the notes there on it. The clocks stopped as well. I was just yep. noticing there. The clocks had actually stopped at a specific yep. time. Uh, the clocks were stopped and other signs indicated that the accident must have happened about a week ago. Poor fellows must have been blown over the cliffs of ground trying to secure a crane. They did think that yeah. they were maybe on... So why did the clocks stop? You know, I mean, that's well, that indicates to me some sort of magnetic thing that stopped, stopped the clock then. Well, the clocks had to be wound, but the clocks were wound you know? like every four days. I mean, it's quite interesting here from the right, evidence okay. was able to proceed the, the head guy, this is the head one. Men had been on duty up till the dinner time on Saturday the 15th of December. They had gone down right. to secure the box, which was the mooring ropes. So that's the where they keep the boat, right? They'd went down to... Uh -huh. This is, what, this is what they say, right? This is this is what the head ones say. Uh -huh. they, they even went down to secure the the moorings, right? A uh, hundred and ten thirty four meter above sea level, that an extra large sea rushed. They said a wave came out and swept both of them away. Basically, I don't believe but that. You see the island. You see the shape that. of the island. That looks impossible because the island is so high up. Well, the lighthouse is so high up. That it would be an awful big wave to wash them over. And the wind as well. I mean, they're no silly men. They wouldn't have been out there in that amount of wind to blow them over. See, that's so actually that's interesting. Which, that's interesting what Doby Sox saying about the log the log book. There was a log book, but it, as they say, it was on, on the 15th, they're dragging up when they got up in the morning. They're usual what they usually pack. But there was nothing else, and that's uh -huh. it. Makes you wonder if they were experiencing other stuff. This is quite interesting. But as far as the mm -hmm. public was concerned, right, the report wasn't the end of the story. Speculation was soon arrive, right? These more suited to the Middle Ages, where during the round, the round such as the men being gobbled up by a giant sea serpent, or whisked mm. away by a huge sea bird. One theory had the men left leave the island on a boat to escape debts, mm -hmm. while another had a spirited away by a, a, a skeleton crew of ghost ship. Some this is the this is all the stories, right? This is all the fishermen tell us. Some people even thought that the men had been kidnapped by a foreign spies. Now that's interesting. Mm -hmm. See what I said about yeah. the U-boats and stuff. See what I said about the Germans. Mm -hmm. Because the war broke out, but what, 15 years after that, 14 years after that? Well, it was 1900 exactly this happened, so yeah, Aye, 14 so years. 14 years Also, well, though, as i got to say there, also as well, um, I was got to make a point now. Yeah. Just continue talking and I'll remember I'll say it. What's i got to say yeah. Can I remember? I'll come back to it, sorry. Right. Here's... Here is something really interesting, right? I've just come up in it. Right, here we go. Containing the safe from baffling entries in the logbook. Right, Dobby, here we go. Right. They're supposed to have written, right, one of the, the head lighthousekeeper had supposedly had written, uh, the great storm like which had never seen before had hit the island. He continued to, was, what's that? Usually quite quiet when the storm hit. A big blurry man known to have much of a sensitive side was weeping. One there was one of them started to cry, which would never never this this is what's been put in the log books. He was scared then. He was scared. I said the entry had three men praying in the eye of the monstrous storm. The third and final entry is supposedly written on the 15th states that the storm had passed and all was now calm. On the hearing about the existence of these logbook entries, right, the idea that the men had been swept out to sea if any had died. Surely whoever wrote in the 15th so how, in the entry logbook? would have mentioned this. So in the 15th, they would have mentioned that they were swept away. One of them had been. Yeah. Uh -huh, exactly, aye. 
the theory about that's what was going to say about the birds. The birds, the theory is that the the gods had took them through these birds, mm -hmm. guys. That was another one of the theories that they had offended the gods of the island. And just as these people had been going up to the to see the place, if you like, then they had actually seen the spirit of the island take them through the ravens, well, the crows. So that's the reason the birds, they think the birds were involved. He it's actually, very mysterious, especially the mystical mm -hmm. side of it, because I yeah. mean, if you look at the island in the middle of nowhere, you know, so yeah. how did, did anybody get there? If say it was a conspiracy theory that they were getting kidnapped or something, surely they I would have they were kidnapped. The, no, I don't think they were kidnapped no. either. No. no. You would think there'd, there'd be a pit fight up. People. You, you would think there was yeah. a fight put up. I mean, here's an interesting mm -hmm. one. The a, an independent journalist at the time discovered, carrying out his own investigation, that both fake logbook entries and f fictional tales of the sea serpents and ghost ships we, which we left us. So there was some fake. So was that the people that went to Ireland and put it in and the logbook? Because mm -hmm. exactly. they said that was fake. I mean, I'm reading this off a, actually a history thing, which is quite the the, the bit about the deliria. It it says about it's be for the it says here though involved in the manufacture of hats in the 18th and 19th centuries also suffered from mercury poisoning. So they think yes. it was mercury poisoning, be, becoming as in mad as a hatter, as the old saying went. Like the hatters of their day, the lighthouse keepers were being driven mad by the exposure to the mercury from the fumes. Yep. So I'll take it that's the fumes of the light or something then. I think the, the lights in the days were something to do with mercury in them and it gave off fumes. And they were so breathing So they did go mad, and... where did they go? So we'll run with that did, for did, a did... minute. So they go mad. So where did they go though? If they went Unless mad, one there of them would still them be signs of them. Unless one of them... Of them Unless one of them you know? lured two of them out, murdered them outside, and, and then, then taken off. off his and then taken off his water oil skins and jumped in the sea. And jumped in. Mm. It's it's see it's actually arguments speculated that they could have started a fight, right, mm -hmm. and then landed both all three fell off the cliff. I mean, I don't see how that's possible. You're in a fight with three folk. Three folk are fighting with each other, right? And then the three just fall off a cliff. Mm -hmm. I think you there's wouldn't a bit be of, that close to the covered up. cliff edge. No, definitely, right. something's happened. Yeah. Hey, everybody in the think... chat. Welcome in, everybody. Let us know your theories in the chat if you're no flanning lighthouse in Scotland, guys. <laughs> Here's actually interesting. The second theory that one of the men again probably murdered the other two. Dis dispatched their body to the sea, then threw himself off the cliff. Well, both these add up to level bloodthirsty, right? It's a mystery that no evidence either fight or murder took place because the place again was perfect. There was nothing uh -huh. out of place. Not a thing. This is the the SOS type of thing that came through, guys. A dreadful accident has happened at Flannan's. The three keepers, Ducket, Marshall and Occasion MacArthur, have disappeared from the island. On our arrival there this afternoon, no signs of life was to be seen on the island. So there you go. That's what they sent through to headquarters. So there's no mention in that, even a panic, really, about, oh, we went to the island and we seen tear blood there and things. So obviously, it was that, that they weren't really packed at first. Yeah. 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 I mean, let's, let's look at the lighthouse again, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, let's look at this, right? I mean, right, here we go. This is a black and white photo, yeah, which is... Mm -hmm. Quite interesting. See, they wouldn't have been that far to the edge, even if they were in a fight. They would be in this little compound here. Yeah. They wouldn't have probably need any need to really go beyond that wall. Mm -hmm. Which is, mm -hmm. I mean, if you were fighting, if you if I had to burst into a fight with another guy, I would either be in that compound or be in the grass. I wouldn't be fighting on the very edge of a cliff. That would just be sheer insanity. Exactly. Uh huh. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's 
if you look at this, this is one of the original buildings. See the buildings at the bottom. Now this is from like maybe the twelve uh -huh. hundreds, eleven hundreds, twelve hundreds. It okay. makes you wonder: was the island maybe haunted or cursed, and it maybe drove the three men mad? Maybe they were seeing things and they weren't reporting things. Mm -hmm. Maybe they were experiencing Just strange where events. Where did they go though? I mean, they've never, there's still never any trace to them to this day. So, I mean, where did the physical no, go? If they went into the water within like two years, there'd be nothing left of them. Yeah, okay, I mean, mm -hmm. because animals and stuff would have eaten them, like fish and stuff like that. It's strange for them not to see anything in the waters, though. Surely there would be a jacket, a hat. I mean, look at them. There's quite a lot to their uniform. Surely something would be floating somewhere for them to say, well, we definitely found a jacket. You know, well, so. they found they found the one pair of oil skin trousers and oil mm -hmm. skin jacket, and mm -hmm. that was that. Which Wait, is was that in the water, or was that on the island? No, it was on the island. Did it was on the island. These items. Uh, they, they, they found yeah, that so on the island. Still no proof that they went. In, still no proof that they went in the water. Then is it really? Nope. So, well, what, what they strange. think is they they think that one of them, because seemingly had a violent past, one of them had a violent past murdered two of them, threw them off the cliff, and then with sheer insanity, he took off his clothes, his waterproofs off, and then jumped jumped off the cliff. That's what they're saying. Sure That's what... would... I... Yeah. Yeah. I That's... think there would be there would be like signs of that in the actual lighthouse though. I think there would be signs of maybe things disarray because of arguments, fights, you know, I don't know. It just doesn't fit right with me for some reason that one. What do we think about the mystical side of it then, about Aye. maybe something for the actual island taking them? How big is the actual island? Well, here we go. It's, I'll show you a picture of the island right now. It's about there. It's there. So it's it's no, it's no the big one there. It's the wee yellow line points yeah, it's to no the two huge, the then. It's, it's like maybe yeah. this half, it's like maybe five football parts or something like that. It's no... Mm. Yeah, I take I mean, it that no... they scanned the full place for them, any of them falling down a crevice and maybe three of them falling down somewhere. Oh, I took, take it they did all that. Mm -hmm. the, ten, so... the ten multiple mm -hmm. men, I think the, I think there was over 40 people went out to the island and right, just okay, marched so up and down, up and down, up and down, searching. Or there was boats going either passing each other, so one's going that way, oh, one's going that way. And they, they were searching the entire island. I mean, I watched so a video in this. No. I watched a video so on this last night. Right. Yeah. I think there's something mystical to do with this. I, I, I really do. I mean, you, you me must too. Remember. I think it's something that's happened mystical. I'm not saying it's aliens or stuff like that, but I'm saying that maybe, maybe they've encountered like maybe a spirit and it's not very mm -hmm. happy that they're there because there was reports of the island being haunted. There is reports. Yep. If you go back far enough to like maybe the 14, 13, 14, 1500s, the island, nobody liked going there because they said it was cursed. That's right. uh -huh. yeah, so then they built right. this light on it and then this happened. No, no. And it's, it's funny that they did a lot of the lighthouses, they let people stay there with their families and things, but with this lighthouse, they wouldn't allow it. As well, yeah. that was in the notes I read that they wouldn't allow anybody to stay there with their families as well. What's that? So Jacqueline Evelyn says, Is one. there a stone ring there? Would you mean like a, would you mean like one of those things that the, the pagans and would put up kind of thing? Is that what she means? Yeah, no, the, nothing noted that I read, sister. Emma. No. no, nothing that I noted written down. I mean, what you could do is you could do like a modern day research on it to see what we can all find just now that maybe yeah. that the modern day researchers have found because they do still, the island's still there, you know, it's not disappeared. So well, it'd be interesting the to see what they've found these days. Well, the lighthouse after that, there was men posted there. I did watch the video on this last night. The men right. that were posted there after it would witness weird things. Okay. They would witness kind of like voices, but there was nobody there kind of thing. They would witness okay. kind of like apparitions and stuff like that. Was that the spirits of the lighthouse keepers? Mm 
or was it spirits mm-hmm. of something else pretending to be friends? Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, that's I mean, the mermaid used... side as well. Ah, Could the little mermaids be their prettiness and lure to their death with lure these mermaids? Mm-hmm. Lure them into the sea, or like you know, I mean, it's just so much. I mean, yeah, we've talked about this loads of time on podcast, especially on YouTube. There is so many mystical creatures in Scotland. I mean, even the fairies are mentioned in this island. Yes. So, who's to say it's not even the fairies? Maybe they offended the fairies and the fairies dragged them right down and through the mountain. You, know? you know, who knows? Do you know what? Do you know what I think about? And this is very unusual for this island. Was three big black birds, crows, right? <laughs> I mean, this is a really remote island where you mostly get seagulls, right? You don't yeah. really get crows on islands like this. Not too far out for crows. Mm-hmm. But having three big black birds, I mean, does that not make you think three, that's the sort of, what was it, the Holy Trinity and stuff What's... like that, the three, but then you've got the crows, the crows know a harbinger of death, or are crows not a harbinger well, of death? Well, the Morgan... The Morgan turn into crows. So who's to say that it's maybe not been some of the Morgan on the island that's maybe that's they manifested back into their crow form, well, actually ravens, because people have turned up at the island. It could be like some sort of deity and things that's turned back into yes. their animal form because people have turned up. So could it's, it be mystical? I think I think there's something to play. I think I mean I I was told this story when I was a wee boy. I, a friend that I used to know, his name was Walter, and he used to tell us this story about this lighthouse and how they just vanished. And then after that, the strange reports, the strange things that people would notice, right? Uh-huh. And there's been there's been people that's been out. You got to remember, you got to remember. See all lighthouses now; they're all computerized. There's nobody on this That's right, there's no many. There's mm-hmm. nobody. Yeah. It's a computer that runs everything. And there's been boats at night mm-hmm. passing this island, right? And they've looked up and they've seen like, people walking about. And they've Definitely reported that. Spirits, they've went yeah. out and there's nothing there. So, mm-hmm. hey, Raymond. Um, it's, I think what it's... What part is called, is it? Here. Let me just see what, what actual well, part... Of, or, see, it's, it's, let me see. It's Let's up to the islands. Island. Island. It's here, it's here. It's where right. the letter so A is. islands that are crossed from. Right, yeah, I'm just yeah. trying to see. Right, so there's obviously the mainland and then there's a set of islands yep. in between. So that's yeah, so the bigger, as well. The bigger island there is, well, the lighthouse is 80 miles from the bigger island there, right? So just that bigger island there far has... As if they're out visiting... <laughs> A village on it and stuff like that. We'll visit it's it and see what we can pick up. Right. I, I think that's I think we need to go there. Alan, if you're listening to this or watching this, we're leaving you in the island for two weeks. <laughs> yeah, we're going to the island. Pack your bags. <laughs> who who in the chat who in the chat would like to go to the island? Who what Wannies would like to go? There's Danny. I mean, I would like to know what Danny's thought was this about this place was. Fucking a if he could sense anything. You, oh, listen you know to this. About? This is what people have, about the island expect extremely disturbing, violent imagery, including slicing with an axe, lots of blood, a character bashing, a seagull death, a severed human head, a human corpse with gulls plucking at his eyeballs yeah. and intestines, fighting, screaming and humiliation, plus urinating, farting and buckets of excrement. So this is just like imagery that people have seen yeah. on the, when they've visited the island. That's Something crazy, guys. That's, so that's, mm-hmm, someone's trying to frighten somebody away then. I would use the fact that they've never been seen again. No, no, I would. Maybe I would do it. If I was with a lot of people, I would maybe go visit it and do a bit of an investigation on it. But I'd visit it maybe over multiple weeks and then decide if I wanted to do a mo- an overnight. But I would definitely love to go into the island and see if you picked yeah. up what was there. You yeah. know? It's... I mean, the fact that you need to climb to it and all is going to put a lot of people I, I off it. So it's not going to be popular. A, a hundred and sixty steps. 
I'm interested about the house. I mean, I find that interesting. See the wee stone house, the wee stone kind of cottage, the croft. Right, uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. there was a settlement on it, but that's nearly a thousand years. I mean, right. it's... Oh, the, it's oh, very it's interesting the 12, place. Yeah, it's... Mm -hmm. There's a, I, I didn't like, realise uh, it was as popular. There's a loads oh online about it. I'll need to oh. do more research into it, guys. We'll definitely oh, do it's... more. Because I think that we could do more of the, the middle side and in, investigate that and see if we can find unique think, unique stories of people maybe that has visited the island to see what they say. Because we'll, we'll never get to go I there. But I'd like to speak to somebody that has. Oh, you, you never know. know. We could we could go on the ferry in the big island, then we could send you in a wee rowing boat. You could draw it away out, you know. It's only oh, eight I'll miles do that. back. Eight Give me miles. six months so I can get my muscles. <laughs> what do you think, yeah, guys, in the chat? Also. <laughs> well, there's, there's Danny, he'll go first. with you. Danny will go Uncle with you. Uncle Danny, that's where we're going. Um, <laughs> Uncle Danny no, but there's actually, Scotland will visit the island. I know I don't talk about like, UFOs in this channel and stuff like that, but there has been weird sightings. Now, I'm mm. not saying there were UFOs. See, there is that as well. Yeah. 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 It's... Uh, there, there's Danny. That there's part Danny of there. Scotland, part of Scotland, is actually quite famous for sightings it's as famous. well. I mean, you've for got the to take that into for consideration. Mm -hmm. um, so who knows? It's one it's of those lovely. places, guys. It's just the guys vanished. That boggles my mind. They totally get wiped off this earth with what? What's your theories in the chat, guys? What do you think? I wouldn't use think, guys. Has anyone ever heard of this place? What do you think? Uncle Danny says he'll go. <laughs> I, I'm, just, I'm just looking it up really quickly. Reminds... There's something I've seen. Uh, Dobby says it there. reminds me of Summerlees, the Wickerman film, right? That's what's meant Don't to be forget. here, right? The Blue Men of the Binge. The Blue Men of the Binge. Right. That's where they're meant to be. Near that lighthouse. See, I've heard of them. Right, is that where they've been spotted? Right, okay. They've been spotted. See, that's there. strange. Mm -hmm. It's the blue men in the bunch. Are they, are um, they no, I don't think they're good spirits, though. If I remember no, correctly, when I was doing some... No, I didn't think they were. I mean, you get your... So, are they protective of the island? Have they claimed the island maybe for themselves? And did they maybe want they anything there in the first place? You well, know? They're notoriously, they're notoriously known for luring ships into the rocks. Mm -hmm. Maybe they were pissed off that they built a lighthouse there. It's because when they get any of these souls anymore, they crashed landed. So were they upset that these lighthouse keepers and totally done away with them? For lack of a better word, you know. Here's Liz there for my and life. And now they've got I their dream. Fairies when I was six years old a week it was sparkly and they go tiny to so there you go I've never seen a fairy I don't know yeah, what, I I, I don't like, just be pixie, just be pixie creatures that, well, you know we thought we seen one remember coming through the wall a paranormal world investigator spiritual uh, investigations mm. remember when we first went to share it through one of the first live streams we ever did we seen That's something right. appear coming through the wall and you were pure amazed, and it did look like a fairy, guys. I'm not going to lie. So the footage is there to check it out. So things like that. So what do you think of then the fact that maybe the fairies were maybe there was a fight going on between the fairies and these other creatures? So the fairies were maybe the ones helping them because fairies are helpful usually. And then these other blue people didn't unless, like that. Unless that ground is sacred to something we do not know about. They built that lighthouse yeah, there not. and the energy just built up and built up and built up and one day the three men just went poof. The, the, Probably maybe and the energy the guys arguing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe, maybe there the was one there that wasn't getting on with the two of them and the energy them arguing and things has brought on something that had never manifested before. Because yeah. you know how much energy can affect an area? All their negativity or along with other things, maybe family problems and things would be a nice little soup for these entities, you know, so to defeat something. There's Chris, Christine, I mean, she was saying about Danny, I would love, to, I would I would hate to meet a banshee. It could have been banshee. that. I mean, 
you go to remember Scotland is one of the most oldest countries in the world, right? It's one mm -hmm. of the first to connect. It's one of the first. And the maths, the maths that's in the waters, you got to remember at one time there was no water there. At one time it was just one big landmass, right? Yeah, sure. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. So there could be anything embedded under that water. There could be stone circles there. Because it's going to be the first point of entry for a lot of these people way, way back before Scotland. I mean, if that's at the edges of Scotland, then that's going to be, have been a drop-off point when it was attached to the island, if you get where I'm coming at. And then through time, it's obviously separated. So to me, the sad. energy there is probably, because it is a lot, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm just trying to maybe point out that the energy there is maybe a wee bit more for more like because of the sea and then the different energies landing like you know who knows it's that's just quite, so crazy that's quite interesting with Dobie Sock question has there been a fairy ring being noticed on the island or even the, the fairy toadstools I mean I bet you there is stone I need to do more research uh, to see what there's been finding in the island to see where yeah. the fairy theory comes from because there could be you've got to remember Tay and this is an actual interesting topic, actually, because I actually read about this last night. Well, I watched about it. See all these wee islands around Scotland, and I mean the tiny yeah. ones. A lot of them were used were for burial things. grounds. Aye, for burial grounds. All right. Right. So they would hmm. say there was a big island, maybe 15 miles away, but outfit there was a wee right. island. They would use the wee island and put like graves on them. But why? Oh. Some of them... Why? Aye. So maybe there is graves on the island and something just get pissed off. Made them see mm -hmm. stuff. Made They've went mad and they've done themselves. And, but you could, uh, this is what I find strange. These three men worked in other lighthouses together. These three... I mean, if they were, just listen... Right, could there be, say they died, right, and they were maybe died outside in exposure, would there be yeah. enough birds and things to go take them apart, if you like? I don't want to be too graphic. No, there would still be, so that they would there would never still be bodies. Be seen. Oh, no. Right, so that that's, no. So seagulls that's can only possible. eat certain amounts. Aye, you would still have heads right. and bones and stuff like that, right? True, true. Uh -huh. What's interesting is, is everything was left in that kitchen. Everything was perfect. I know. Mm -hmm. the, the, so if it was the other light. humans, would they know have picked at some of the food? Yes, yes. No, I don't think it was humans. I think, that, and I don't think they murdered each other. I think something. No. I think one of them's either went mad. He's been running outside, and he's maybe it's taking off all his clothes or something like that, right? Yeah, With his oil sure. skins. The other two have went mm. after him, right? And then the two yeah. have came to a grisly end. Right, but would it not yeah. be policy to one of them has got to stay there no matter what? Would that not be some sort of policy? Well, you would, you would, you one uh -huh. of these had to stay there because unless it's so it would take a rate. lot for it. No, it would take a lot then for the three of them have to, to have to go outside that building. Is my point. Because I assume that one would have to have been there at all times, I no think matter what. One of them had to stay. One of them had to stay at all times because if the light was left, right. if it was left, it went out. It you, see crashes. the wee island across. See the wee island across there. It was notorious mm -hmm. for for ships meeting a grizzly right. end, running right. aground there. Uh -huh. Aye, aye. So that's why the lighthouse was built there, so his ships wouldn't run aground. Mm -hmm. and, so it's going to probably be the entities that's annoyed then, really. Because that's saving lives. You know? It's going to be saving lives. I mean, these three men worked together for years. I mean, they knew each other. They knew each other yeah, well. I mean, they liked their beards mm -hmm. in their days, didn't they? They liked their moustaches. <laughs> their moustaches, <in> aye. <laughs> their big ties. But, it's... And they were and they were they were well into their field, they knew their job. That is a point that we need to make. These guys knew their job. They were hand picked for this job basically for the big book company. So they knew their job. 
That's so they what wouldn't I'm fall victim in. to silly wee mistakes. See that house? See that little stone house that's there? Are you drawn to it? Uh huh. I'm drawn to that. I don't know why I'm drawn to that. Is there anything in the chat, Danny? If you're in the chat, what do you, do you see, pick Danny? Up when you Uncle look Danny? At, when you look at that little stone house, you know it's. Could there maybe be something going on there, and that they had to go there for some reason to shelter or something? Maybe and that's why you're drawn to it, because maybe that's where they ended up before the big mm. event, whatever happened. Maybe their last place. Interesting. Maybe their last Steve place. Anything up? Mm -hmm. I I think my opinion is they didn't they murder each other, and they did a wave, didn't they sweep them away? I think. Danny's well, see, there's Danny says at a burial grounds. That's what he gets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yep. Danny Something's gets, been that's what I said. Yeah. I think there's something there. They've been seeing things. They've been seeing shadows. They've been seeing things moving about. They've been getting paranoid, right? And because these are professional mm -hmm. men and a Christian professional Christian men, right? They don't want mm -hmm. to believe this and they will not write this down in the logbook. And then one night... Exactly, I don't want people to know. One night something really bad happens. Something really bad happens. And there's no trace of them. It's going to do... It has to be something magical because there would be traces of them there. If it was something physical that happened to them, there'd be something physical left. So it's yeah. got to be something mystical, whether it be aliens, whether it be fairies, whether it be sea monsters. I don't think it's it was definitely aliens. It'll not been a storm or anything. The storm I... wasn't bad enough for it to wipe them straight off that island. I... It was impossible, they said. I... I... It was, this is what I get. People are that, oh, a big wave came out and swept them away. Look, these were experienced men. These men knew what One they were doing. Stayed. They were experts mm, at what they did. Stayed, yeah. Yes. One would have stayed in the uh, in the house connected to the lighthouse, right? One would have stayed there. Mm -hmm. but Definitely. Why, what I find strange they is made why them the split, goes off. break their protocol. Yeah. Maybe they went out thinking, oh my God, guys, come here and see this. There's like people dancing about and they followed them and fell off the cliff. I, it's, it's... Yes, and as quick as that, it's like mm -hmm. maybe there was a monster and they had to go out Forgetting protocol and run to see who knows, but it's definitely got to be something mystical or amazing or something crazy that's drove the three of them out that lighthouse. Because, as we say, it's protocol for one at least. Yeah, it's there's other videos out there, and you go and look, guys, on the internet where people have actually went to the island, and it does feel weird. The island feels weird. And there was a journal, Evie, yeah. I don't know about personal journals, but there was a journal left. Uh -huh. I, what was I, on I, the I, journal again, Chris? Oh, God. Just basic yeah, things, wasn't it? It was, um, it was just basic stuff. No, it was not anything. Stuff like that. Uh -huh. Times and dates and what's happening. But it was not nothing say, crazy. Oh, no, no, and, uh, well, there was one thing in the journal. One of the journals says they'd never seen a storm like this. It was making uh -huh. strange sounds. The it was make the storm was making strange sounds, and one of them started to cry. See, does that make you differ then to the were they in disbelief? There's something magical happening around them. Did they just not want to? Admit I think it? they seen something. Because... I think something was mm -hmm. no hunting them, but I think there was something playing with them today. Something. And one of them saying, "It's only the wind. It's only the wind." And this is why it's been noted down. But it's it sounded, look, I, I, as I say, I watched this last you night. Remember, people, there was no I, storm, people, though, guys. <clears throat> it was there was, there was a, a there storm was a, the night before. <clears throat> aye, and they're saying it was uh, there was a storm, right? But mm -hmm. it wasn't to that extent. I mean, yeah. the lighthouse keepers were it, said they could hear like voices, and was that the spirits oh, calling them to the water, strange. to the grave? You know. Uh -huh. So what if you know? one of them murdered the other uh -huh. two? The signs of them being buried as well, especially in, this, in January, it would have been hard ground, no. so it would have been spotted. 
the, the easiest the way to dispose of something like that is to throw somebody off a cliff because it would just get dragged out sure. to sea. True. The, yeah, what mm-hmm. mystifies me is the set oil skins lying on the grass next to the lighthouse. Why would you mm-hmm. take your oil skins off? You got to remember this is winter see. time. You fall into that water, and you're dead within three minutes because of the hypothermia. Why would mm-hmm. you take your oil skins off? I don't know why them do it. Well, in in the logbook, um, Kate Houston, it was it was like one of them, like there's reports. See, this is the thing about the logbook. There's inconsistencies in it. One minute we don't know like where this appears. Rat- Aye. There's like inconsistencies in the logbook mm-hmm. for the lighthouse. So it's like in the 15th that it was written in, but there was nobody there. They think they think that maybe the people who went out maybe witnessed something and tried to cover something up. You know, it, it it's just so interesting because they just nobody really <laughs> knows what happened. That's crazy. <laughs> But the question is, the door, they opened the door to the kitchen and they walked in and everything was perfect. No Mm -hmm. folded, nothing was knocked over, nothing was out of place. The the paraffin lamps had run out of paraffin. The the candles had melted down. The fire had went out. The dinner was still in the pots. Aye. The candles were lit. It was night time or dark was getting dark. So yep. that maybe something maybe happened after dinner time, or just at dinner time. I think it's we need to do a follow up. Mm-hmm. We need to do a follow up on this mm-hmm. about this place. Uh, I'll maybe see if I can get a guest on to talk about it. Because there is people. I want to research the, the fairy activity in the island. I want to see if I can find maybe even some documentation of people saying that, that they've seen this or that on the island. I'll have a wee dig around and see what I can yeah. pick up. Uh, that's mm-hmm. a good idea. It's it's a very very interesting location. This it's just so, so ladies... crazy that they've never mm-hmm. been ever. It's that's interesting. Well, everybody's in the chat. I've got a wee trailer off to play for Bald and Bonkers because we've got a special guest on in Saturday, guys. Everybody knows who she is. She's her name's Elena. But we'll be back after this trailer. So, ladies and gentlemen. You know that Chris has another program he co-hosts alongside Dakota Franson called The Bald and Bonkers Show? Of course some of you knew that, but did you hear about the live guest? The Bald and Bonkers boys are welcoming back none other than Elena Danen, author of A Gift from the Stars and We Will Never Let You Down. Her latest addition to the series, The Cedars Return of the Gods, details some of Elena's most extraordinary encounters as emissary for the Galactic Federation of Worlds. You know the guys have a history of strange things happening on the show. Anyone who follows Elena has seen very similar things take place. When the three get together, it never fails to go to hyperdrive. Turns out it's because Elena and Dakota might have a history from the stars. You don't want to miss it. The guys go live Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern, 10 p.m. GMT at www.youtube.com slash at Bald and Bonkers. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. And I, w- I would also like to say we're, we're streaming through Parapost International. Parapost, we're, sh- we're streaming through YouTube and lots of other locations. So remember, check out those locations. So, Drew, what have you got planned for tonight or tomorrow? What have I got coming up, guys? Um, Any live shows? Planned as such. Yeah, I've got my usual Thursday night live on my channel. Probably mm. do a little bit of spirit box communication or maybe tarot or something. Mm. Who knows? Mm. Mm. Yep. I did do go. a video on Monday. It was about the equipment that we use out paranormal investigating. If any of you want to check that out, it's on my channel. Yeah. Drew's yeah. Abandoned Paranormal Vlog. Yeah, yep, it's a good catchy name that Drew's abandoned paranormal vlog. It's a really catchy name that, you know. And I would yeah. like to thank the 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 nineteen people that's watching us right now. We've got thirteen on uh, Ghost Squad Scotland, and we've got the rest through all the Facebook locations, you know. Welcome and everybody. What are we got to talk about next week, Drew? What subject should we talk about next week? Ooh. I'll let you choose. 
Oh goodness, what can we talk about next week, guys? What would you just like us to talk about? Any ideas? Aye. Oh, Christopher, what do you think, do you guys? Think? It can be anywhere in the United Kingdom or anywhere in the world. Pick a mystery of any kind. You know? Well, everybody hit the like. I thank you very much, guys. Could you hit the likes? It helps the channel. It helps yeah, the old algorithm. It? it helps us get out there. Um, because it, I, I would like to say thanks to all the subscribers because I'm nearly at one one thousand one hundred and thirty subscribers. Do yeah, so. Brilliant, Christopher. Brilliant. You know. You know. Yep. Oh, Jordan Kerrigan is in. That's my oldest son. Welcome, Jordan. Yeah. Uncle yeah, Jordan. Danny Calic. The Calic is, I don't know if, if it was this channel we did the Calic on, if it was my channel when we did some of the what's legends. The, what's the Calic? I was talking what's about the Calic. I can't even remember what it was. It's, the Calic, I do believe, is one of the, it's one of another legend in Scotland, but I can't remember what it is. <laughs> my memory's terrible, Would guys. you like to come but, on, uh, Danny, with me and Drew and talk, talk about, about the Calic? Mm -hmm. I'll look mm. it back up, guys. I talk about that many different things. My memory's terrible. But there's we could definitely much. talk more about the legends, because uh -huh. there's that many legends in Scotland. It's crazy. I mean, there's also the haunted. Of there's Scotland. Also... We could talk about them, yeah. God, there's, there's haunted roads of Scotland. There's um, any castles you would like us to talk about. Um, just just leave comments below. You know, there's... There's... We'll have a nosy around, guys, and we'll find something. You know what it's like? There's so many. Scottish yeah. wolves, still be saying. Scottish wolves is something yeah, I've never really uh, we could we could do it. We could do a night on strange creatures of Scotland. We've done one before, but we could do one where we, uh, we talk about wolves. And... Of course, there's meant to be big, the old big woman foots meant to be in Scotland too. Oh, oh you don't want to visit for the hag. You don't want yeah, to visit exactly. for the hag at night. <laughs> See, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to have a weird dream tonight. Thank you, living history. Oh, you'll be fine, Christopher. Uh, Just I, think worry. about lovely things before you go to sleep. I, I, I watched like a, I watched like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre before I got my sleep, before I got my bed. You know? <laughs> Listen to one of the lovely podcasts that you do and that calm your nerves. Thank you very much, Stockport, for that nice kind comment there. Fascinating. Thank you very much. There's also a video coming out in the oh. channel. Um, we've actually got a video coming out on Friday. Let me check when it is, actually. I think it's, uh, there we go, Covington Parish Church Graveyard. And that place was amazing. See in there, and I, I, I'm not joking yet, there was so much Masonic gravestones. Yeah, there have so, been a couple of, I've noticed, interesting places during the week there. I'd like mm. to see myself, I mean, I wasn't there during the week with them guys, uh, but I would like to see more of the Cathcon. That place just kind of gave me vibes, so I'd love to physically visit that place the myself. Chapel? The chapel? Was that the first video? Yeah. The, the Cathcon Chapel Cothcon. and Graveyard? Cothcon, yeah. Do you know the there was generals and colonels and everything buried in there, and they were all killed in India. All right, there you they died. Go. They died there, like uh, what's that? You got the, the uh, it's a well known it's a cure for it now, but there was diseases that they died for. There was a there was a general, there was a colonel, it was so smallpox or something. It was no, it was um, malaria. malaria. Malaria, I I tried to get Alan to go and ring the bell. You know, but the, do it? I you need to check out the Covington Parish Church, which is out on Friday, and that oh my god, that place was really creepy. And you think any really? of the other ones was creepy? But that place was extremely creepy, guys. So Drew, oh, definitely visit very, there. So Drew, thank you very much for coming on tonight. You know, um, always a pleasure, I've, pleasure, Christopher. Always a pleasure. And what's that? What's that? Loving histories, Mr. Hey guys, girls, a wee prayer for us. Don't we have to pick up grandma's? Your, what's that? Oh, oh you're very sorry to hear. Send and pray, brother. Very sorry, you're yeah. in our prayers there. You're in our prayers. Um, sorry to hear about that. Um, Sending you strength for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, 
And I'd be like, I didn't know, I didn't know that that had happened. So I'm really sorry to hear about that, you know. Um, but anyway, guys, tune in next week, and we'll have a we'll see if we can get Danny to come on the show and tell us some mystical tales of the Scottish hills yes. and glens and scare us out to death, you know. <laughs> definitely find and, some honest, myths and legends for you guys and definitely prayers for you Andrew, Ed, living histories mysteries, prayers for you bud and everybody in the chat thank you very much for coming and please guys come to the Bald and Bonkers uh, show on Saturday night on Bald and Bonkers channel I think it's going to be an absolutely amazing show and remember and check out Hope Drew's I'll be in the chat, guys. Um, is it, is it Drew's abandoned? Abandoned no. paranormal. Yes, paranormal. abandoned paranormal. See, yes. I remembered it. Sorry, I remembered changing that. it, Christopher. Yeah. <laughs> you won't get I used had that to it. <laughs> but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully we'll have another video out on Monday too. So catch you later, everybody, and take care. See you later, dudes. Bye, guys. Bless.